Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Sonic Love. So in today's video we're going to be checking out my top five handhelds. Now the, as you know there is an ocean of handhelds that are out there for retro gamers like ourselves to choose from to play our favourite retro games on many different handheld systems across the board. Now I've personally found this really difficult to do not only because of the fact that I have so many, like this is just a handful of the many systems that I own and that I have reviewed or showcased on the channel, but there is a lot to choose from guys. So I have a very, very hard and tough decision to choose what one I think are the five top handhelds based on my personal experience please don't judge or hate as this is my personal opinion but there is a lot to choose from I, if you want to see a video of maybe my top 10 not top 5 because as i say th th there's going to be a few handhelds here that are equally um in fairness to take a crown or a spot or a five or a four or a three or a two or even take the top spot but without further ado let's get into it guys five is the Ambernic RG280V. Now this system to me is absolutely incredible. One is the beautiful screen, not only that, coupled with the very 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 pocketable form factor, and not only that but the controls and overall build quality of any Ambernic product is absolutely sublime. It's one of my favorite go-to handheld systems. Now, I still I say that I use the GKD Mini, but still, I have to say that this was my go-to for a very, very long time, and it did not disappoint whatsoever. Love to know what you think of my number five spot, but it goes to the Amber Nick 280V. Number four is a fantastic little handheld that you'll probably know, which will take you blast from the past, but it is the PSP Go. Now, I really love this system. It's been one of my favorites just to take out on the go. And uh, you get a lot of people saying, oh, I haven't seen one of them before. It is that unique. Personally, I love the white one. It is absolutely gorgeous especially when you have the time and effort to put into it to make sure that you can play the favorite retro handheld systems. The screen is absolutely fantastic, but one of the benefits from it, guys, not only retro games, but to actually play PlayStation on an app natively running perfectly and flawlessly. Not only that, but having the ability to play PSP games natively and flawlessly as well. It really is a joyful experience. This is why I choose number fourth spot goes to the PSP Go. Love to know what you think of my decision of number four. Let's move on to the next one. Number three is coming in as another Ambernic product, which is it, it quite easily could have been a number two. I was very, very torn between three and second spot, but it is a very, very beautiful looking handheld, very, very well made. It is a joy to play. It is an absolute legend and iconic form, which is the Game Boy. It is a little bit pricey, I think, but definitely worth it. I think the build quality, again, is exceptional. The controls are really, really good. And at the start, it was a little bit of a touch and go whether it was going to get full development for it, OS-wise. But it turns out that they had fantastic support in the end. And overall, this is why I give it the third spot. It is lovely, beautiful, and the image is absolutely incredible. This is why I give the number three spot to the Ambernic RG351V. Number two. So this was one of my favorites for such a long time. Still is, 
and I absolutely love it. It's incredible. It's really, really well made. It has such a fantastic and wonderful community behind it, backing it. It's always coming up with new and inventive ways to play games, whether it be through ports, whether it be through old retro systems. It's not only a solid product, but it also has a solid image base as well. So yeah, I have to say that this is was a very, very tough one. As you can see by the state of it, it has been well used. It's one of my personal favorites. This is why I love the RG350P. It is really, really nice. I chose the P over the M is because of the cheapness of it and it is still a fantastic product overall. This is why I give this beautiful system the second spot. Number one. So my number one choice is the RGB 10 Max. I absolutely love it. It's fantastic. It's such a very, very good handheld. I love it for the fact that of the size. I know there's a lot of love-hate relationship with it, but I just think it's absolutely incredible. I like the fact that I've just done a review of this system itself, and I was really, really, really impressed by the build quality now uh, compared to the first original one but i absolutely love it guys i think it's amazing it's my go-to the big screen i just think emulation is fantastic on it i'd love to know what you think of the number one top spot this is a hacked rom of luigi mansion 64 which is pretty cool i will be doing a video on hacked roms which is really, really cool. A good way of just spicing up the games that we constantly play. I absolutely love it. Yeah, so this is my number one choice, my go-to daily driver. I absolutely love it, guys. Love to know what you think of my top five handhelds. Do you agree? Do you disagree? As I say, this is a personal choice. This is not a given. There were so many. I have so many to choose from, guys. It's unbelievable. Honorable mentions, PS Vita. PSP, oh, the list is endless guys of handhelds that we have in this community of lovely retro handing goodness. If you like what you see guys, please like, share and comment. And as always guys, take care.